This video was sponsored by Babbel. This is my life now. Smut is my life. Isn't that awesome? Oh God, I had so much to do today. I had so much to do the last few weeks and these books just keep inserting themselves into all facets of my life. I had a video to do today. I had a video to do today. I had a script. It would, it would have been so easy to just click record, read the script, get it over with, and I, just, I didn't because I am on the last book of this series that I'm super invested in. I don't even want to finish the book because then it's going to be over and then I'm going to be sad. So what have I been doing? I've been just watching TikToks, TikTok, 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 and I've just been vomiting all of my book thoughts that I've been having on this series, just vomiting them. I made a TikTok about how I want to get your partner in the mood, just give him like a smut novel. Somebody said, pro gamer move, read that book to your partner. I need another book. This new obsession of mine has leaked into all of my socials. Twitch, yeah, we're doing smut soirees now every Tuesday, Thursday, and you know what? They're fantastic. They are so much fun. We are reading Ruby Dixon's Ice Planet Barbarians, and you know what? It's delightful, and people like it. They are so fucking funny to read through. I push my fingers into her soft folds, seeking that strange third <laughs> nipple. We are having a motherfucking ball with our seven foot tall blue gray thripple <laughs> monster cock <laughs> alien men. It's so funny. I genuinely forced this on my audience and luckily they like it because I just, I need somebody else to talk through all of these, all of these thoughts with. Cause obviously not everybody's gonna be into these books and that's Fine. Not everybody's gonna be into the 99 cent discount Walgreens paperback romance smut novel. I didn't even realize that yesterday all of my Instagram stories had something to do with these these smutty books that I'm into. I just, I cannot get them off my brain. Fucking nerd. You fucking nerd. It's not even like reading like in the smart way that's gonna like educate you. It's not like I'm, I'm reading theory or anything. The most recent theory I've read, Dolly Parton's 9 to 5. I don't know what to do. It's such like a niche little, niche, niche, little obsession. And it's a silly one. I get it. And you know who I blame? You know who I blame for all of this? You know who I blame for missing these little deadlines, these little opportunities here and there? I blame Bridgerton. I blame Bridgerton season two. Fuck you, Anthony, and fuck you, Kate, for making such a beautiful romantic tale together. It was amazing. They absolutely nailed everything. And I believe their passion and their chemistry and so after I saw that, I read the books. I read the first one and I read the second one. And you know what? Anthony is not even that desirable of a man written in the books. And so when you end up reading more books, like A Court of Thorns and Roses, you meet a character like Rhysand and you're like, take my money. They're ruining my life. Well, I don't know if I should say ruin. I mean, th they're certainly affecting my life. They're having a very strong effect on all aspects of my life because now my standards are so, so, so high. And you know what? I am perfectly fine with that. I am perfectly fine with that. I am perfectly content missing out on real world plans to stay home and read my books. There's significantly less risk. No one's getting STDs here. You don't have to get all dolled up. You could stay home with your dog, but you know what's the best part, genuinely? It's nice to feel something. And now I feel something in a totally safe environment. And the thing about these novels is there is obviously a sense of you're not quite satisfied because it's it's a book and I mean I don't know what other people do with their books listen we're not gonna get to, to that subject here the books honestly are maybe like five to ten percent smut and the rest of it is like the story just like a little bit more more intimate it's intimacy for the brain but like if a girl is gonna like go hook up with a total stranger or something that's like come on are you really gonna finish <laughs> <sighs> Smut novels are absolutely overrunning my life and I don't know what to do with it. <laughs> That's where I've been at. I do have lots of stuff on the burner that I've been meaning to get to or is like semi-finished and I just <sighs> been distracted. I will jump back on that wagon. <laughs> And also, I have some really exciting news to announce this summer. Some TV-related news. It involves a little bit of travel, but hey, I get to read my books on the plane. <laughs> Give me your, uh, your smut recommendations. Okay, bye. Hot girl summer. More like time to learn a hot new language with... 
babble. Actually, I lied. I'm already pretty familiar with Spanish, but it's been a little while, so I'm going to be Yo. using Babbel's refresher courses. Gracias. Lessons on Babbel are designed by real language teachers. No machine learning algorithms or AI. Babbel has short, easy-peasy, 10-minute interactive lessons teaches real-world practical conversations, like for business, travel, and relationships. This summer, start speaking a new language in three weeks with Babbel. Use my link in the description below to get 65% off your Babbel subscription. Thank you, Babbel, for sponsoring this video. Thank you.